sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. If you want, you can like and comment. And we will see you in one second. I'm going to cook it for 30 minutes. The blood! <laughs> and then in the cocoa. Removing the skin of the beetroot. Now to make the pickle brine, we will first add four and a half cups of white vinegar to the pot. Next We'll add one and a half cups of water. Next, we will add three fourths of a cup of erythritol. This is the sweetener. You can use your own substitute or sugar. And then we will ask to add five teaspoons of salt. Here we use the pink Himalaya salt just to be fancy. Now so the next step is to heat it up and while heating it up then we switch on the stove. We can heat this mixture up for five and stir it for five minutes to dissolve the solids in the brine. So, see you five minutes later.
next step is we'll fill our dry ingredients, the herbs and spices, into our container. We'll start off with one teaspoon of mustard seeds. Next step, we will take one clove of anise. Smells like licorice. Anyway, then one clove of clove, if that makes sense. Then a half, half of black peppercorn, half teaspoon. There we go. Go. And the next one, half teaspoon of coriander. So that's the dry, dry ingredients for this one. Next, we use the cooked beets and we fill this up. You can use your hand, you can use a spoon, up to you. My hands are clean, so I'll just pile it in there. Get in there, get in there, shake it all about, mm, so we can get more in there, just a bit of a finer, finer spots, okay, okay, now we'll fill it with the brine we made earlier, Add a little bit more in there, maybe. Right. Put it with the brine. Some more brine atoms. And there we have it. Seal it, store it, eat it later. Wash your hands.